You're going to take it in against UTA. You're going to have to deal with a seven-footer. Wilson misses the three this time, and now Foster pushes quickly to Kyrie Thomas. The lob for Temple. Take a look, the pass up ahead, no dribbles. That is what impresses me about that transition offense right here, and then raising up. Thomas finds Harrell cutting through and now kicks it. Alexander, Balak, and quickly to Thomas. Nice ball movement from Creighton. Harrell with the offensive rebound. Back to back baskets for Ronnie Harrell. Suarez and Balak along with Foster, Alexander, and Harrell for the Blue Jays. Inside to Suarez, and they'll kick it around to Foster. Three-pointer. Foster, Foster double figures. He's got 10. Started his career at Virginia Tech, a graduate transfer. Inside to Foster for another deuce. 10-point lead. Under five minutes to play here in the first half as Crumple, a lot of contact, no whistle. And Hervey keeps it alive and will finish the high percentage shot. And now a technical foul is going to be called on Hervey. For hanging on the rim, or was that a delay of game call? That is going to be the technical foul called on Hervey for hanging on the rim. Boy, I don't know. It's yeah, I didn't like that call. I felt I felt like his momentum was taking him forward, and he was just trying to get his legs back under him. Four left to go in the first half. Oh, Kyrie Thomas picks the pocket of Eric Neal and draws the foul. No, no foul. Good finish for Kyrie Thomas. And Neal hasn't really been as effective as we expected. Kyrie Thomas with the steal off a turnover. It's another oose. And now they're going to come back and make that call again, just as they did on Hervey for hanging on the rim. And they're going to do the same on Kyrie Thomas. Let you make the call. All I can say is it's consistent. I didn't agree with either call, but it's consistent. <laughs> and also Neal. Clark off the inbounds. Great execution. Neal, three-pointer, off the mark. Battle for the loose ball underneath, and Foster clears it. Pushing for Kyrie Thomas, three-pointer. And the Creighton Blue Jays have won at home for the seventh time this season. Greg McDermott's club got all it wanted from Scott Cross's Mavericks of UTA. Marcus Foster with a game high 32 points tonight as Creighton wins its 21st consecutive here at CenturyLink Center against a non-conference opponent.